Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Civilization and its Discontents by Sigmund Freud. When it comes to the concept of civilization, maybe you all have your own thoughts. Civilization is passed down from one generation to another, leaving us today with a considerable wealth of wisdom. However, civilization is also a double-edged sword. In addition to the benefits of refinement and culture, humans suffer misfortune under the pressure of civilization. For example, psychologists like Freud and his contemporaries found that people developed psychosis because they couldn't live up to society's cultural ideals. They found it intolerable. Observing this situation, some like Freud concluded to return a happy state meant abandoning or at least reducing the demands civilization put on citizens. This is the discontent in Freud's title, The Demands of a Developed Civilization, Irreconcilable with Basic Human Instincts. This contradiction is the key issue this bookie will explore. Those familiar with Freud will know that he was the founder of the psychoanalytic school. In his early years, some of his major theories revolved around unconscious thought and libido. For the theory of the unconscious, Freud proposed the famous iceberg theory which compares the conscious mind to the exposed tip of the iceberg above water. Whereas there is a huge part hidden, unseen beneath the water. This expanse is the unconscious mind, containing repressed instincts and desires. In analytic psychotherapy, Freud used dream interpretation to help people express the needs of their unconscious mind in order to identify the crux of their anxieties. The theory of libido asserts that the energy associated with mental activities derives from instincts or drives. The motivation behind our pursuit of development and creativity comes from this energy or force called libido. The spirit that impels us the love we give and yearn for and the energy that allows us to flourish are all driven by libido. Our sexual instinct is a key capacity prompted by libido. Apart from the sexual instincts, later in his career, Freud introduced the concept of the death instinct. In opposition to sexual instincts of procreation and renewal, the death instinct represents the energy of hate and destruction. Through destroying order and seeking self-annihilation, the unconscious mind intends to alleviate its inner tension. In his later years, especially after the First World War, Freud broadened his theories about individual mental illness to a wider perspective, the entirety of humanity, he began evaluating civilization. Freud engaged in an in-depth analysis and discussion around issues of conflict and civilization from a psychological point of view. It led to a shift in direction from his main research into medical and psychotherapeutic treatments towards the cultural and sociological application of his theories. The work that we are reviewing today Civilization and its Discontents is one of a series of Freud's books concerning the broader relevance of psychoanalysis. It is among his acknowledged masterpieces. In the book, Freud elevates his theories of the unconscious and the superego, the battleground of human instincts to the level of collective social organization to provide a reasoned explanation for the origins of civilization. He also considers the deeper human misfortunes attendant on our civilization. You can hear a more thorough general introduction to Freud's ideas and the experience of his times in the bookie of Freud, A Life of Our Time. Be sure to listen to it if you are interested. Next, we will open the content of the book in three parts. Part 1. How Freud Explained the Foundation of Civilization from a Psychological Perspective Part 2. Civilization Suppresses Basic Human Instincts Part 3. Humanity's Ways of Resisting Civilization's Repression Let's start by understanding how Freud explained the notion of civilization. According to Freud, civilization is the sum of all the achievements and institutions that set humans apart from animals. In his view, civilization serves two purposes, it protects human beings from natural disasters and regulates interpersonal relationships. Freud divides civilization into four categories. The first category is human undertakings and achievements aimed at transforming nature. These include the first civilized acts, such as the use of tools, the control of fire, and the erection